LA Fire Chief Kristen Crowley's career is one of firsts. She is the first woman and the first LGBTQ person to hold the fire department's top job. As we celebrate Pride Month, Fox 11's Laura Diaz shows us a day in the life of Fire Chief Kristen Crowley. When I don't get it in, I feel it throughout the day. This is one of LA Fire Department Chief Kristen Crowley's secrets to success, her daily workout. You need to wake up early if you plan on documenting her daily grind. It's 6.30 a.m. and only Fox 11 is with the chief in her inner sanctum at City Hall East. A closet turned into a gym. This is my little workout closet. <laughs> Just so I can focus on my uh, workouts and technology is amazing. I'm watching my heart rate. Kristen Crowley is a true L.A. treasure. The first paramedic, the first woman, and the first openly gay person to hold the top job at the LAFD. Along the way, she's held nearly every job at the department. Yes, that's her behind the wheel of the fire truck. She's married and raised a family with three daughters. So that makes it even more special to hang out with her early one spring morning. Deadlift action. Well, deadlift action. She calls herself a creature of habit. At least a half hour every morning, she gets her sweat on with circuit training. This morning, it's weights and cardio, the treadmill, medicine ball, push-ups, lunges, and the bike. She's been with the department for nearly a quarter of a century. And now that she's the chief, she's not about to let up. That's a big important point of why I'm in here, why, you know, everybody on this job understands how important it is to take care of yourself physically and just as important as taking care of yourself mentally. In college at St. Mary's, Kristen Crowley played on the soccer and basketball teams. The experience left a permanent impression. I've never lost that sense of commitment, that sense of dedication, that sense to never give up. And I think being an athlete just instills that in you. So I carry that today. I mean, this is 30 plus years ago, last time I played collegiate sports. So that's a big part of who I am. But the heavy lifting doesn't end here. Chief Crowley has a very busy day where it's back to back to back meetings. All right, everybody, it's eight o'clock. Chief Crowley is now in uniform and meeting with command staff via Zoom. The details are important. And we're just gonna prepare for upcoming commission meetings. An hour later, the commission meeting, where future firefighters are introduced, goes well. But sometimes things are not always that orderly. I saw you in the driving rainstorm in Studio City, holding the umbrella over the mayor. <laughs> yes. I mean, so you do wear a lot of hats. There's some more challenging days than others, but I get home and that's where I'm grounded. So as crazy as everything can get, sometimes at work or as challenging as it can get, that safe haven is like coming home and being able to utilize Holland, my wife, as a sounding board. And then I'm looking at our three kids and it's like, okay, put the mom hat on. Will you go to lunch now? Uh, no. <laughs> Meet at your desk? I, I have an on-the-go. I'm always on-the-go. Grab and go. Yes. In downtown Los Angeles, trying to keep up with the chief, Laura Diaz, Fox 11 News. I mean, the weight of that job alone, then, yeah. then you have the, the iconic status that she is now, you know, representing sure. so many communities there. Yeah, absolutely. And we all love behind the scenes, and that's a really yeah. uh, eye-opening behind <laughs> the scenes where you have to see what she has to deal with every day. And I do love, as somebody who loves physical fitness and formerly played that. sports and all of that, it's so important. And it does teach you that commitment mm -hmm. to determination and to just never give up. And that reminder to get that fitness on yes. for all of us. Our yeah. health is our wealth, yes. right?